In this video, we go back to where it all started with me and Bill and the off-roading on this channel, the Tennessee Dirt Devil. So the Tennessee Dirt Devil is located right outside of Nashville near Leapers Fork. And while it's not a um, privately owned trail, it is actually made up of many dirt county roads throughout the area. There are several paved roads that you get on on this trail. There are several creek crossings. There are several... Um, cool bridges and very really scenic area the one thing I have to stress is where it says private property stay away from the private property um, that's been the biggest downfall to this is people getting on private property and tearing private property up therefore it is a tread lightly area biggest fears with the dirt devil is at some point the city is going to grow further and further out like it's doing all around us and parts of the dirt devil are going to get gobbled up by well developments and we have seen signs of this throughout the trek um, there are for sale signs and stuff scattered amongst the uh, trail and you know places like this just don't exist are being gobbled up by major cities. It's, it's kind of a shame.
Okay, so this river crossing coming up, while it looks like it may be kind of daunting, you actually just hug the um, shoreline to get a, through this area. You don't see the road until you turn and then it's just right up on the right. But uh, I remember the first time coming down this, I thought, where the hell are we going in the river? <laughs> but uh, it's really not bad at all, pretty cool. Although we have seen things down here, namely a van, stolen van probably. So this next little section is part of Mill Creek Road or Old Mill Creek Road and it does have a little bit of obstacle to it where you have to pick your line coming down but it's not really that terrible. I would want a high clearance vehicle going through this and you can pick a line and get down it pretty easy and the, the little creek crossing, river crossing, whatever you want to call it, coming up uh, is not too terribly bad either. Now we'll tell you on this certain sections that it's kind of on the water is more of a river gravel so while you may not need four high four low four high definitely will get you through it but uh old mill creek road in this section here is probably one of the roughest of the whole track so far and uh i'll show you the replay of going back up as we're coming back This is part of one of the prettier creek crossings on this whole track. Um, just the, the scenery around it, the cliffs, the bluffs, and the creek itself is just, it's gorgeous. And the fog coming off of it when we went across today, it was just, just added to it. I don't think we've ever been down here when it's not raining or drizzling or cool weather. <laughs>
as we pick our way back up this one spot on Old Mill Creek Road going back out I uh, want to thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video um, it was kind of nice just to get out and it was just two Jeeps we just wheeled and uh, nothing difficult nothing too strenuous the only thing that got us all day was the rain it rained all day long but I think it just adds to it sometimes I appreciate you watching please subscribe share and like and we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.